we know more about the sexual behavior of insects than the sexual behaviors of women. So I'm uh, the director of the Sexual Health Research Clinic. Uh, we are one of a handful of clinics in uh, North America that specializes in looking at both the body and the mind of women in terms of how they respond uh, during sexual stimuli. Uh, we also specialize in the study of sexual functioning, such as uh, sexual desire, uh, sexual arousal, orgasm, specifically in women and develop treatment for those women who experience sexual dysfunction. The Discovery Channel contacted me to uh, film uh, a documentary on lust, um, which according to their definition, it sounds like they were, they were really looking for was uh, sexual desire. And then we ended up filming aspects of sexual arousal. So again, it's, it's, they approached uh, us to, uh, the Discovery Channel approached us to study uh, the science of uh, sexual desire. Uh, but my laboratory specializes in the science of sexual arousal. The field is completely divided on this definition of desire and arousal. You know, this is the hardest thing right now to study is are they the same? Are they separate? How, um, because if you ask a woman um, about her sexual desire, she often gets it confused with her sexual arousal. Sexual desire is a motivation to wanting to engage in sexual activity, and sexual arousal is how her mind and her body respond when they're in the presence of a sexual stimulus. And a lot of women cannot discriminate this, uh, just aspects. So, it's, I think it's reflected in this documentary where they talk about the science of lust, where they just kind of put together both the desire and arousal. The reason why I agree to do this um, is because I think the, uh, the topic of sexuality and science is not well explored, uh, and it's not um, often seen in, on campuses. A lot of the undergraduate students come to my laboratory and it's the first time that they have ever heard anybody doing studies on sexuality. A lot of the graduate students that apply to our programs also have had minimal exposure to sexuality as part of a science. So I figure that um, being filmed by the Discovery Channel could increase uh, people's awareness of uh, sex research as a science. And I think that's a good message to send out there. There's a topic, it's a topic that's very interesting for people. Um, we, uh, you cannot assume anything about sex. Everybody thinks that they know everything about sex, but then the, when we start investigating the question, you, we realize that we really don't know even the ba most basic assumptions about orgasms and women are a uh, myth. Uh, we know a lot about uh, sexuality in, in the male, in the, in the human male. Um, we know the neurotransmitters involved, we know the nerves involved. Women are kind of left untouched, the mystery, because it's not appropriate to study them. It's a taboo topic. Um, we know everything about how we blink, uh, how we sneeze, how we eat but we have very little understanding on a behavior that is fundamental for our continuation of our species, our development of, and maintenance of relationships. It's something that occupies our brain constantly since the time we are hit puberty until the time we die, and it still remains a taboo. You ready, ladies? Ready. Stand by, please. Come ahead. <laughs>